For Hanato Moikano, man, this is a very, very big opportunity right here because he just catapulted the great ape, Alexander Hernandez, which is not a far-fetched thing, you know what I mean? He was the favorite in this fight for good reason. But what I'm a little more concerned about before talking about the praises of Hanato Moikano, who had a very incredible performance, man. I mean, listen, this is ninth career submission win. He gets everybody by rear naked choke. That's what he got Hernandez by. What does this mean for the career of an Alexander Hernandez, man? Once a very highly touted prospect, like you said, knockout of Benny Dariush, you know what I mean? But what did I tell you, AJ? We cannot rest on our laurels or our glories of the past. What have you done for me lately? And not much for Alexander Hernandez, man. You know, I still think he's an incredibly talented prospect, like incredibly talented. Is this a mental thing? Is this just a lapse in training? What's happening here? Because to me, it seems like it's the all-out wrestling pressure style in the first, and then he just immediately fades after round one. And then it, things get weird, and then Moicano being long and, and sprawly like that, he got the fight to the ground and got the job done. What do you think? I have, Man, I don't know if it's a mental thing or a training thing or the fact that he's just in the deepest division, the, yeah. the killers, bro. He's hanging out with killers right there. Um, we, we were texting back and forth and I said that Alexander Hernandez got humbled again. Yeah. And I really do think he, he was on his game. You know, he was, he was holding himself a little higher and mightier than he might've been going up against an absolute savage, like Canado Moicano, <clears throat> excuse me. And, um, it was, it was just a rough fight for him. Cause you can see how, how, how highly he was praising himself and then ended up kind of drawing back kind of reclusing a little bit because mcconnell's a real deal fighter man and I, I i love the fact that uh alexander hernandez put both of them on you know said like hey we deserve main you know main card slots like what is this i feel disrespected and that's why i was going for hernandez in this one he he had that little bit of a chip on his shoulder man he was a little pissed off which i like in a fight especially if you're not mad at the guy you're fighting you're just mad in general so you kind of having that 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 grit and that determination but it ended up working against him. And I, I, it's hard because, like I said, I don't know what Hernandez needs to do to get better besides just put more time in, put more effort yeah. in, put keep keep more, basically keep doing more of what you're doing, just do it a little bit better, which is kind of the, the hardest thing to do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, staying the course when it seems like the, the walls are closing in on you is a very difficult thing to do, but you got to keep your head up, your chin held high if you are Alexander Hernandez. I mean, it was not like this was just a one-sided fight. When we look at the numbers, 39 strikes to 38, like he outstruck him. It just came down to the takedowns, right? And Moicano was able to get two takedowns out of six, and he was able to ultimately get the fight where he wanted to take it for alexander hernandez his best course was to just stay on the feet and try to exchange bombs try to knock moicano out or something like that but he couldn't get the job done here man i will just say um for alexander hernandez brother i, I don't know man it, it, it's just it's just tough one of these things because you know how talented he is and you know he's a good fighter but uh i think he still has a, a bright future and promise in the ufc but Hanato Moicano has been doing this forever, man. So it's also like this was by no means an easy matchup. Like you're saying, this is a very tough division, the 155-pound division. Next to 135 pounds, this is arguably the toughest division. So I agree with you. But uh, then again, man, he comes in there with a, a a boisterous confidence. You know what I mean? The great ape, right? Like it's like, yeah, I mean, listen, man, maybe you the ape for now. Maybe take the great away a little bit and come into it with that mindset of confidence, but also like you got something to prove as if not like you've already beating the man because one thing that we've heard a lot about alexander hernandez is that he's the toughest guy in the gym and he's beating everybody in the gym which is like a good thing but you don't want to be the baddest dude at your gym you want to be surrounded by battered killers you know what i mean to get you ready for the other killers but either way huge win from Moicano. he looked incredible um overall man and uh went from number 23 to you know maybe possibly that top 15 to 20 range man potentially in the rankings here in the near future but uh scary scary fight for hanato Moicano. who once again he just looked so long and lanky in that one man good good win 